So we're going to look at how to create clouds in Nuke. So this is kind of like 2.5D. They are on cards, but feel, uh, but I know this uh, this comp is pretty trash and the CG is only for one frame, but this just came up recently. So I thought it was worth recording this. So we have some clouds moving in the background. We have this image of the countryside. So that is just a flat image, but to accentuate the sort of look of parallax then you know we can add other objects that are moving you know put some of these clouds closer and some of them further away and it just adds a nice little effect and there's so much more you could do with it as well i'll just show you the setup in 3d before i go over how to set it up quick so we have the camera this is the tracked camera that we uh so we tracked in piv track and then we've got assets in Maya that have been lit and rendered and then we have the cards so we've got a handful I put the footage sorry it's not footage the uh, the background so this is the furthest point so this is behind our foot our footage as well and then we have the clouds which I think they're slightly apart but we could exaggerate this further like we could bring some of them nearer and then just scale them but it's just to exaggerate the parallax effect the animation that I had on them has been exaggerated for this example because obviously they're moving really really fast this is just two seconds or something but anyway in order to do that what we're going to do we're going to create something like what you see here so ignore everything else in this comp. This is just a comp that I use uh, just to demonstrate different things. So there's a lot of other crap in there. But we're just gonna recreate this. Okay, so what you would do is, um, in this instance, I've got my plate, so my footage, which looks like this. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do the card thing. So how I've done it is I'm adding these cards as a background area there. And then there's a roto node cutting bits out. So we want to cut out um, where we want to see this because we have the footage, which is technically our background. In this instance, it's our background for the CG. So the CG comes in A and then B for this background play but then we want further background where we don't have any CG so this is an instance where you might just want to fill stuff in you could also add in there's other things you could add like um, you know effects in nuke so you could add uh, trees and stuff for you know onto cards but they won't hold up so great to be honest clouds you know that'll probably be fine so anyway, we need a scene node. So this is where we will connect the cards. We need, because it's 3D geometry, we need a scanline render node. So I'm just gonna pipe this in. I put it into a reformat, because these images are just random ones from Google. So they have varying resolutions. I just wanna bring everything back to my res resolution. Um, then what we need is the camera node and we need to, actually I could, I could just copy and paste this one because this already has my camera linked. So let's take a look, has it kept that link? Whoops, I'm not viewing it. Yeah, okay, it's kept that link. So you need to, if you have a track camera, you need to load it in. It all depends. Um, or if you're just working on CG and you want to do this, then you would still need to uh, you need to uh, bake your camera, a Lembic bake or something like that. Um, so then we need to do scene. This is where all our cards will be connected. So we do the object slash scene into the scene. And then we can pop a card down. And then our camera input there goes into the camera. So if I just disable, I'm going to get rid of this, disable that, see what's going on in our view. So I hit tab to go to the 3D view and spacebar to make everything full screen. 
uh, hold down control uh, and then you can rotate around and what else um, okay to zoom in is alt and right sorry middle mouse I'm using a tablet so I get confused okay so that's the card we just created and I've just disabled everything else Oh, you can see that lovely roto I've just read in there, but it's all black at the moment because we haven't put anything there. So what I want to do is first, so I'll plug this card into my scene. I'm just going to read from this scan line. Take a look at what is going on. Okay, so we can see the camera. Oh, the damn hotkeys. Okay, so we can reposition this card select it. Now in an ideal world this camera would be on perfectly on the X or Z axis but it's not. So holding control I can bring up this manipulator and rotate my card that way. Or I could just do it in the right hand side here. So I'm just going to scale this up in the right hand side. I'll just make this pretty chunky, pretty big. And let's take a look. I'm going to hit tab to go back to the footage. And then I need to read from where my plate's added in. So it's still black. That's good. I do have a checkerboard. You can hit tab and search checkerboard. So I'm going to pop that in just to see. Okay, we are seeing something. Great. But our checkerboard is lower. So I can double click on my card and you can see in this viewport we can now see an approximate location. It gives us this guideline of where we've positioned the card. So we can actually pull it up And we can see we're actually having a problem with the, the roto because I'm reading at a, a particular point where it's not been, um, I think, pre malted. Okay, so we can see the card there. Don't really care about the left hand side, it's just going to be a little bit up here and a little bit there. So we've got that in there. That means we can now pop in our background if we want. So I've already got it over there. So this image, before I pop it in though, when I read this image, you'll see it's pretty much half HD. Well, 720p. It's not even that, it's slightly bigger for some reason. This was on Google, because I've got such uh, an amazing imagination. I just went to Google. So you might wanna do the same for this video. Just searched countryside clear sky. There we go, Pick the, pretty much the first image. Clouds PNG, that's the other search I, did, I went for. And then I downloaded a few of the images I could find. And once you've learned this technique, you could even start using your imagination because this is birds animated on a PNG, although that looks horrendous. So, but you know, think about it. Like once, you, once you've tested out this card, method you could do something like that maybe you know put a monster on a card you know cthulhu i don't know whoops okay so let's read that let's take a look uh so i need to reposition that so i've reformatted it to be hd and now i'm going to add a transform after that because what we're doing is we're putting a image onto our card so we can either re resize the card or we can transform the picture so rather than mess around with the card I'm actually just transforming the picture and I can currently hear some pretty loud noise from outside so apologies 
don't know if that's being picked up. Okay, so I've repositioned that, wonderful. We now have a background. It's end of the VFX tutorial. Right, now let's uh, let's add in, add in some more cards. So I've created a card. Actually, to be fair, these ones are positioned over here. So I might, I'm just gonna copy and paste these. But all I've done is, let's look at it, oh, I'll, I'll disconnect them. So let's look at where this card is. So card 10, gonna hit tab. And so, okay, my original background was further back. So this card, I'm just gonna bring forward. And I'll just position it a little bit in front of my background. And now I have this PNG from Google. You see this is the RGB. So it looks more like an alpha. And then when I hit A, we can see what looks like the RGB, but in the alpha. It's kind of weird. So we're going to pre mount it, which pretty much going to flatten it. So when now when I read and go to alpha, we're getting the same result, this picture of this cloud in our alpha. Because it's just a black and white image, it's going to use that for the transparency. So then we can plug that into the card. Let's take a look. So now it looks something like that. So now we can actually rotate around this and see that we have this cutout of a card. Which is pretty cool. And because we're, we've got some grey values in there, we have some nice fade off in the cloud. Let's hit tab and take a look at how it's looking. Can we see the cloud? We can. So then we, if we're happy with the location of it in 3D, then we can actually position it like so. This was actually animated, as I said at the start of the video, so I'm going to delete all those keys. So let's jump to frame one. And it looks like I actually need to move the card for my background. Cool. So I'm just doing this really quick for this video. So let's say we're happy with that cloud position. So if we want to add some slight animation, then what we could do is we can right click, go to set key on all knobs, and then we can jump forward to later on in our sequence. I would say the end frame, but we're not using all the plate. And then just shift it a little bit. You should probably do it, it depending on your axis or not. But I said earlier, this camera is not on the exact X or Z line. So that's why I was doing its camera. So it auto keys it once I've set keyframe on all knobs. So as I scroll backwards, you can now see that the cloud is animating. And you would just repeat this process multiple times, as you can see there. So what I've done is gone to Google, search cloud PNG, pre mult to flatten the alpha. So let's, um, so yeah, we see that's the original picture. So that's the alpha, that's the RGB color. pre mult which pretty much flattens and then I put it in the card. Just as simple as that, as simple as that. But you can get some pretty cool results. So using this technique as well, what you could do is go onto YouTube and rip smoke footage. You know, that's another thing you could use. And um, because it's black and white, you could just put, um, you can use the RGB in the alpha as well. So that might take a tiny bit more work you just need to put uh, the RGB into the alpha. But then you could also possibly have other things like maybe birds. If you get if you get an isolated section of birds in footage, you could maybe give that a go. But I don't know, that GIF I showed you of the birds, obviously don't use that, it looks shy. Anyway, that was a really quick clouds in nuke tutorial, so I hope that helped.